Hello, in this video, we will be solving a material balance with chemical reaction problem using DWSIM. And you may pause the video and read the problem. So this is the process flow diagram of the problem and in DWSIM, we'll add a mixer here, also a mixer here, and in this junction, we'll also add a mixer, also in this junction, a mixer there. And we will add a reactors, the first one is the reformer, the second one is the CO converter, and the last one is the methanol reactor. And instead of condenser, we will use the separator. And also in this junction, separator, because in the problem, we have an N2 in the methane feed, and we want to remove the N2 in the system to prevent the accumulation, and the N2 will be going out in the purge. All N2. And 100% of H2O and the methanol from stream 10, is completely removed by the condenser and will be going out or condensed and cooled in the condenser and will be going out in stream 11. And now we will solve it using DWSIM. Okay, now in the DWSIM, uh, we'll click new steady state simulation. Okay, let's wait. Okay, now we click next, we, we will add the compounds, first is methane, next is water, next is carbon dioxide, okay, let's wait, there you go, hydrogen, Then carbon monoxide, okay, now oxygen, next is methanol, then last nitrogen. Okay, if we clear the search bar, we've added, let's do it, we've added nitrogen, methane, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methanol, and water. So we click next, then the property, pa property package, sorry, property package, you will use uh, Rolls Law. And in the system of units, we will use SI. Now click finish. Uh, we will uh, I'll tie this, we'll drag this down, then we'll add three reactor, conversion reactor. This is the reformer, the CO converter, and the methanol reactor. Okay, sorry for that. That in the settings, we click the settings and we'll drag this here. And under the reactions, in the reaction set, we will uh, Rename this default set to reformer and the description will clear it and we'll add another two reaction set. First is the con CO converter. Okay, click OK. Next reaction set is the methanol reactor. Okay, click OK again and in the chemical reactions. We will add four chemical reactions. Uh, this is a conversion, so we click conversion. First is the main reformer reaction. So the components include are included components in the main reformer reaction are methane, water, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and the base component is methane. 
So we have stoichiometric coefficients of negative 1 for methane, negative 2 for water, then 1 for carbon dioxide, 4 for hydrogen. Then it is balanced and the conversion here is 90% with a phase of mixture. Now we'll add the side reaction reformer reaction and the components are methane water hydrogen then carbon monoxide so we have the methane as the base component the stoichiometry coefficients are negative one for methane negative one for water then three for hydrogen and one for carbon monoxide so it is balanced then the conversion here is 10 percent so we have a uh, hundred percent methane conversion so the phase here is also a mixture then click ok now another conversion it is dco reaction then it includes carbon monoxide oh sorry carbon dioxide carbon monoxide then oxygen so the base component is carbon monoxide so the stoichiometric coefficients are negative two for carbon monoxide negative one for oxygen then two for carbon dioxide then it is balanced so the conversion is 100 percent then the phase is vapor so the last chemical reaction is the methanol synthesis I name this as methanol synthesis then the components are carbon dioxide hydrogen then methanol and water so the base component is carbon dioxide and the stoichiometry coefficient is negative one for carbon dioxide sorry one negative three for hydrogen then one for water one also for methanol so it is balanced then the conversion is 55 percent the phase is also a mixture so and under the reaction set we click the reformer We'll remove the CO reaction because in the reformer we have main and side reformer only and the methanol synthesis will also remove it. So the sequence, uh, we have the same sequence for the main and side. And in, under the CO converter, we add CO reaction and in the methanol reactor, we will add the methanol synthesis. So okay. Now we'll go back again to the flow sheet. We'll name this uh, reactor the reformer. Now this second reactor, we we'll name this as the CO converter. The third one is the methanol reactor. Okay, click enter. Now we'll add the mixers. So first here, then under this mixer, we will add two streams. Here and one here. So forgot to uh, to turn off the flow sheet so we will turn off this the flow sheet calculator then we'll name this stream the upper stream or as the methane feed it is the stream 2 then in the second stream the, the lower stream this is the steam and it is the Stream 1. Now, under the mixer, we will add an outlet stream and it will connect to the reformer. So we have an inlet stream of MSTRO3. Here you go. Drag this down to a line. Then we'll add an outlet stream. Two outlet streams. Outlet 1 and outlet 2. Yet an energy stream. Okay, there you go. Drag this down, also this, then we'll drag this up, then we'll rotate this to 90 degrees, I'm oh, sorry, we'll rotate it to 180, so it is 270 in total. So this stream is the stream 3. Then we'll add another mixer, here you go. Okay, sorry for that. Then we'll connect this 
uh, we will connect the inlet uh, the inlet stream four uh, the inlet the stream three rather to inlet stream four and we'll add another stream so this stream we'll name this as the oxygen stream four stream four so comma four there you go then under this mixer we will add an outlet stream and it will connect to the co converter okay this the inlet stream is ms 7 then we'll add two outlet streams and energy stream we'll drag this down the outlet stream 2 we will rotate this to 90 degrees then we'll drag it down so this upper stream the stream 1 will rotate it to 270 there you go then this is the stream 5 and we'll add another mixer this mixer will connect stream 5 to inlet stream 4 then we add another inlet stream this inlet stream so we'll drag it down here this inlet stream this is the co2 makeup this stream 6 so co2 makeup comma 6 okay here you go then in the mixer we'll add another outlet stream so this stream we'll rotate it to 90 degrees then we'll name this as stream 7 Oh, sorry. So this is the mixer O3. Then this stream, MS311, we'll name this to stream 7. Then we'll drag it down here and we'll add another mixer. This mixer will connect the stream 7 and the recycle. So we'll rotate this to 90 degrees. Then we'll add. We'll connect first the stream 7 and inlet stream 3, then we'll add inlet stream 4. So we'll rotate this to 90 degrees, the MSTR 12. Then we'll leave it there. We'll name that later. So the other stream for the mixer 4. So we'll connect it to the methanol reactor. So MSTR 13, so this stream, MSTR 13, it is the stream 9. So, sorry for that. Okay, sorry. Then we'll drag it down. So, in the methanol reactor, we will add two outlet streams. and an energy stream so we'll drag this energy stream and we'll rotate also the MSTR 15 to 90 degrees then we'll drag it down so the upper stream this is the stream 10 and it will connect it to so it will connect it to the separator so the separator uh, we will name this as the condenser. So we'll drag it up. There you go. So the inlet stream is stream 10. We'll have two outlet streams. Okay, also an energy stream. Forgot to add it. Okay, there you go. So the lower stream, we will name this as the methanol solution. This is stream 11, hit enter. And the upper stream is the stream 12. So we'll take it to 270, this is stream 12. Then click enter. Then we'll add another separator. So the separator here is the, the recycle purge separator.
Then, click enter. Then, let's we'll stream stream 12. Then, we'll add two outlet streams. And an energy stream. There you go. Drag this down here. This is the, the lower stream is the purge. Then, the upper stream will rotate it to, rotate it to 180 degrees. Then, this stream is the recycle 8 that's one because uh, we have a logical operator here that will connect it to the MSRD12. So, the uh, MSRD12 is the recycle 8 that's one. So we click the recycle block, we'll connect the endless stream, recycle 8 dash 1. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Forgot to rename this. This is the recycle 8 dash 2. Okay. So we will connect recycle 8 dash 2 and outlet stream recycle 8 dash 1. Okay, there you go. Now we will add these specification blocks. So we have one here, one here, one also here, another here, then another here also, and another here. Okay, there you go. So we go back again here. So this specification block, the name for this object is the ratio of the stream 1 and stream 2 so the source feed or the source object here is the methane feed stream 2 the source of property is the methane flow the molar flow of methane so there there you go the molar flow mixture of methane the target object here is the steam on the stream 1 this is the molar flow of the stream so We'll define the expression later. So in the second block, specification block, this is the ratio of uh, stream, uh, the stream, uh, the stream three and four. The source object here is the stream, uh, stream three. The object here is the carbon monoxide, the molar flow of the carbon monoxide. There you go. Target object is the oxygen 4. Then the target property is the molar flow. Then we'll define the expression later. The object here, the name of the object is the, the ratio of 5 and 6. So the source here is this number 5, stream 5, and the molar flow of the hydrogen. There you go. Then the target object is the CO2 makeup and the molar flow of the CO2 makeup. Okay. Now we click enter for the name of the object. Okay, let's wait now. In the upper specification block, this is the N2 in purge. So the source object is the methane feed and the source property is the amount of nitrogen. Molar flow of nitrogen. And the target object is the recycle purge. And the target property is the spec value of nitrogen. Okay. And next is this specification block. We'll name this as the H2 in purge. And the source object here is the recycle purge also. The target object is the recycle purge. The source property is the nitrogen and the target property is the hydrogen. Now, in the last specification block, the recycle purge is the source object, also the target object. So the source property is also the nitrogen and the target property is the carbon dioxide. Now, we will define the calculation parameters for the recycle purge. So the separation factors is specified for the outlet stream 2. 
because the perch is in the outlet stream too. Now we will define our width. The spec value here is the molar flow of the carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and the nitrogen. Okay. So the units are in moles per second. Also here. Now, I forgot to name this separator. This is the condenser. Then, the separation factors is specified for the outlet stream 2. And we know that the amount of H2 on the methanol from stream 10 is completely removed. So, it is 100%. So, define the spec value, the molar flow, and the methanol percent inlet molar flow. It is 100% for both. Oh, sorry. It is water. Okay. Sorry. The percent molar flow of water in 100%. And also in the methanol, 100%. Okay. Now we will define the expressions of the specification blocks. So in the ratio 1 and 2, we know that in the main reaction, the reaction A, the moles water needed for a complete reaction is 2. So we will multiply it by 2 and multiply it by the percent excess. So we have 10% excess, so 1 plus 0.1. So that is the expression for the Team, click enter, and we'll move to the ratio 3 and 4. Expression here is the oxygen, the oxygen needed in every 2 carbon monoxide is 2 moles of carbon monoxide is 1 mole of oxygen. So, expression is x times 1 half. Okay, there you go. So, in the ratio 5 and 6, we know that the ratio of the hydrogen to carbon dioxide is 3 to 1. So the expression here is x times 1 over 3 because the hydrogen is our source property. Then we will uh, deduct the number of carbon dioxide form. So we have the basis in the methane feed of 100 moles. So the percent of methane here is 99%. So the number of moles of methane is 99 and the, uh, the mole ratio of methane and the CO2, if it is complete, is 1 to 1. And also, if it is complete also, the 99 moles of methane is completely uh, converted into 99 moles of carbon dioxide. So, minus 99 in the expression. So, click enter. Now, in the end to end purge, you want to remove completely the nitrogen in the system so the amount of nitrogen in the methane feed is you want also to they have the same amount in the purge so we have x only click enter so in h2 in purge i will, uh, I will uh, input first the the expression so we have x divided by 0 0.05 then we will dock it by the x, then we will multiply it by 3 divided by 3 plus 1. So this expression here is the total number of moles in the purge because we have the number of uh, N2 in the purge divided by the percent uh, composition of the mole composition of the N2 in the purge because we have analyzed 5% of nitrogen in the purge. So this expression first is the total moles of purge. Then if we uh, minus or deduct dx, the amount of nitrogen, so it is now the total moles of H2 and carbon dioxide. And if we multiply it by 3 and divide by 3 plus 1, so this is the 
the mole uh, composition of the H2 and CO2. So we have 3 to 1 ratio. And we have now the expression for the hydrogen. Okay, we will also copy this expression and uh, we'll define also this spec block. So I forgot to hit enter. So this is the CO2 in purge. And the expression here is also the same, but it is one for this. Okay. Now click enter. Okay, this is specified for outlet stream 2 because this is the purge in the outlet stream 2. So now in the methanol reactor, the reaction set is the methanol reactor and the calculation mode is isothermic. The CO converter, the, uh, the reaction set is CO converter and the calculation mode is isothermic. And the reformer, we have reduction set set to reformer and the calculation mode is in isothermic so in the recycle well, we have 3 to 1 ratio of hydrogen to carbon dioxide so uh, we have 0.25 for carbon dioxide and 0.75 and 0 for other compounds okay then we accept changes in the co2 makeup we have the compound amounts it is the it is 100% carbon dioxide so we have one and zero for the other compounds sub changes also in the oxygen it is hundred percent oxygen so zero for the other compounds then one for oxygen so we have the sub changes in the methane feed compound amount here is the 0.99 for methane and 0 0.01 for nitrogen so we have to accept changes and in the steam one it is uh, pure water here for other compounds then accept changes then the stream condition is 100 degrees celsius because it is stream then in the methane feed the amount of the water flow is 100 now click enter then we will turn on the flow sheet calculator okay then after we calculate or uh, solve the flow sheet we will recalculate the spec blocks that are in red in this or in this title or the name of the spec block okay we will solve this Uh, so we will receive a error here so that we will recalculate the ratio here that you know uh, that is not calculated because it is in red also recalculate and recalculate then solve again the flow sheet then after this uh, we will answer the questions in the uh, the questions of the problem so here you go, it is uh, good. Okay, as you can see, there are no errors. So we'll check this. Okay, as you can see, it is 276. Now we now solve. Sorry for that. We'll now solve using the master property table. So in the questions, there you go. How many moles of H are lost in the purge? So we'll add a master property table here. The purge. So we'll click this. This is the question A. Then we'll select the, the purge object and we'll, uh, the property here, we will select the H2 and the hydrogen, the molar flow of hydrogen. Okay, so the answer, sorry, the answer is 14.25 then in question b how many moles of of makeup co2 are required so we'll add a master property table here this is question b 
So, the object is the CO2 makeup and the molar flow because it is 100% CO2. Okay, there you go. It is 29.7 uh, CO2 needed or CO2 required. So, and that is what is the recycle to purge ratio in moles per mole. So, we'll add another what's uh, the property table and the name here is the question C question C sorry so we will select the uh, recycle 8 dash 2 and purge or you can choose either for recycle 8 either between 8 dash 1 and 8 dash 2 so we will only select 8 dash 2 and the molar flow of the property the molar flow of the objects so we have 384.107 and 24 purge. Now we will use spreadsheet to get the ratio. So the ratio of R and P, recycle and purge. We have 300, sorry, forgot, check again, 384.107. 384.107. Divide by 20. So that is the ratio of the recycle and purge. So in the last question, how much methanol solution in kilograms and of what strength in weight percent is produced? So we will add another master property table. The name of this table is question D. There you go. Then the object is the methanol solution. The mass flow of the methanol solution, the stream 11, and the mass flow of the methanol mixture, methanol. Okay, let's find it. Okay, mixture. There you go. Mass flow mixture of methanol. So, click exit. There you go. So, the first question in D is the amount. In kilograms of the methanol solution of 6.70068 then we will use also spreadsheet to calculate the strength so the percent weight of the methanol is equal to check the amount 3.94665 the 3.94665 so I forgot to add equal sign 3.94665 okay divided by 6.00 6 6.700 sorry 6.70068 then multiply it by 100 then I double click it here this is in percent and this is the uh, strength of the solution and percent weight or weight percent and now we will compare this to what we have calculated manually so this is it so the in letter a the amount of h2 in purge we have calculated 14.25 in dw sim it is also 14.25 in question b the co2 Makeup of the CO2 required. It is 29.7 in the PW sim. So, in the also in what we have calculated manually, it is 29.7. And in letter C, the recycle to purge. So, in the manually solve, it is 20.35. In DW sim, it is 19.20 so it is close and the amount of the solution in kilograms the so what we have calculated manually it is 6.7321 in DWSIM it is 6.7 so it is close also and the the percent or the strength of the solution okay in the spreadsheet is in 58 percent also what we have, in what we have manually solved it is 
in 58.92% strength of the solution. Okay. Let's go back in the flow sheet. So this is the process or the, uh, the process of the problem and it is also and we have also solved it using the EWSM. Okay, thank you.